All right, it is 713 now, and I'm joined by Catherine Galasso Vigorito, a close friend. Yes, here to help us out with some Thanksgiving decorating ideas. And Catherine, I got to tell you, yes. interviewing you is the easiest thing there is to do, because I just say, go <laughs> and you're off and running and you bring so much to look it's at you and there's a lot to oh no 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 I, there's a lot to look at here so a lot okay. of ideas for people who are looking for something maybe new and, and interesting yes. for Thanksgiving. We're just going to do some quick and easy ways, inexpensive ways, to spruce up your Thanksgiving table. So first, guests welcome here. So you can place a guest book in your foyer to have guests sign when they come to your home. This is a really cute idea. It's just little favors. And what you can do is you can just get a little plastic bag, you can fill it with candies, put a sentiment, and it's adorable. What does that say? Jeff. I don't, I don't care. Read I just know it. how it tastes. Oh, your dreams will come there true. There you go. Well, I was dreaming of some, <laughs> some chocolate mints, so Next, no problem there. Let your room radiate love. Yeah. A few ideas is listen to background music. Play soothing background music. I love cinnamon sticks. They smell so fantastic that you can place them within your greenery, in your foyer, in your powder room, and stock up on lots of wired ribbon. One thing that I do is I take the wired ribbon and look, I put it on the back of a chair and it looks so festive. Very you nice. can also put it right around your uh, dishes or your uh, uh, glasses or what I noticed course, there by the way is where yes. you're talking about cinnamon sticks and also music so not just pleasing to the eye but things for the nose and for the ears too so think of the five senses sometimes we right? don't think about that we're making the yeah. turkey we have the kids and we don't think about the whole package now next is happiness is homemade and I absolutely love this I'm so happy to share mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you how to make your own Graceline plates for your holiday table it's very simple all you're gonna do is you're gonna buy a plate now these are under a dollar. Actually, really? everything on this table you can buy for under a dollar. You're going to buy these plates, you're going to get indelible ink markers, and you're going to write your own special grace on the rim of the plate. That easy, huh? It's that easy. One thing that you could do is you can use stencils. Oh, that's a good so idea. you could actually use stencils to make the decoration. It looks beautiful, but you know, I'm I was... I'm sure you did this one freehand, right? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my grace line plates. But in any event, things like thank you for this food, sent from God above, we accept it with his everlasting love. Write your grace on a, a piece of paper first. We're grateful for the food we're about to share and everyone gathered here. And Bottoms once, up, stuff like that. No, you have to have it kind of nice because then everybody, <laughs> your guests could go around the table and everybody can say their own special grace. It's quite beautiful. That is a great idea. Um, <laughs> next, I was going to say, whoa, Jeff, you've been working out. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, what you can also do with the Graceline plate is you can bake your pie we do, you know, we pick, bake pumpkin pies, bring it to a neighbor, and you can put it on the plate, and it looks beautiful. Next is the ornaments of the house are friends who frequent it. Add an ornament. Oh. Add an ornament and have it be a nice take-home gift. It's so beautiful. Also, I thought these were really adorable. These little place cards. You can grab one. Well, just They're just one a in, piece of paper. And just, and just, oh, That's it. Right, you put the name. You kind of tuck there. it right into the fork. It's adorable. How about just adding a little... Um, uh, pen and paper, and have your guests write a thank you. Uh, so you know, like have them this. write five things that they're thankful for. Put that next to the plate. It's just a tent card. It's that easy. That's right? all it is. And then this is really adorable. This is cute for your powder room. Now, what you do is these mesh bags are practically pennies. You just put a little soap in the mesh bag, and your guests will absolutely love it. By the way, we've got about two minutes. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> You're doing wonderful. Okay. Thank you. The next one is candle glow in the window of a dusky evening beckons the heart home. Now, I love these battery operated candles. Safe They're that way. Safe if you have pets, as we do, and children, as we do. It's beautiful to decorate. I love them in the foyer. I love them up the stairs. Um, they're awesome. And lastly, for a centerpiece, try to make a cornucopia. Now, this is what I do. I think they're adorable. Uh -huh. I use waffle cones. Those are Aren't so they cool. so That's cute? A, and they look perfect for the time they're of year, too, right? They're waffle cones, and you can just fill them up. They're great for the kids. They're great for your guests. I noticed I there's more cheese, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just little chocolate chips and cheese and dry fruit and nuts. Very healthy as well. Fine and, with me. Uh, we can go and we can bring it right over to the table here. Yeah, Sam, and I can't believe can, Sam hasn't shown up. Here we go. Sam, I know he'll get over here soon. Yes, it's come only on, a matter Sam. of time. Yeah, 
And okay, so, so now the place settings. Yeah. Now, now you can see how everything looks so beautiful. It's quick. It's inexpensive. Come on, Sam, you know right over here. Okay, we have I'm not we have Sam's little squirrel. ornaments. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I have all kind of uh, snacks for later. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know how you whip it together. You make it look easy here. I can only imagine your house must be like Disneyland. Uh, well, you know, we, we do kind of set up just so I have Or maybe a good Disney idea. is like calling you for ideas, right? <laughs> just Who amazing. Knows? Well, Catherine Galasso Vigarito, great ideas here and things that really kind of warm up Thank the you. inside of that home. And I was thinking that too. Again, it comes back to not just, of course, the dinner's going to be delicious, but all five senses, what you see, what you smell, what you taste, and of course what you hear, the music too. And it's a lot of information for people to get in one short period of time here, so we'll have this on WTNH.com later on this morning.